Hey there, Psylosophy enthusiasts. Welcome back to another mind-bending episode of our channel, where we explore the fascinating intersections of science and philosophy. Today, we're revisiting a topic that's been captivating minds and sparking debates, simulation theory. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our thought-provoking content. Now, simulation theory proposes that our reality, everything we see, touch, and experience, might actually be a simulated construct rather than a physical, tangible world. It's a concept that's been popularized by philosophers and gained traction in recent years, thanks to advancements in technology and our understanding of the universe. So what scientific evidence is there that supports this theory? Let's kick things off with one of the key scientific aspects that lends support to simulation theory. Quantum phenomena. Quantum mechanics, the branch of physics that deals with the behavior of particles at the tiniest scales, introduces some mind-boggling concepts. Now let's delve deeper into the mind-bending implications of the double-slit experiment. His experiment, originally conducted by Thomas Young in 1801, has become a cornerstone in understanding the peculiar behavior of particles at the quantum level. In the experiment, a stream of particles, such as electrons or photons, is directed towards a barrier with two slits. When these particles pass through the slits and hit a screen on the other side, an interference pattern, characteristic of waves, emerges. This phenomenon is mind-boggling on its own. But it takes a truly perplexing turn when we introduce the concept of observation. When the particles go unobserved, they exhibit wave-like behavior, creating an interference pattern on the screen. It's as if they're expressing their dual nature, behaving as both particles and waves simultaneously. However, the true enigma unfolds when we introduce an observer into the equation. The moment we introduce an observation, whether by placing detectors at the slits or attempting to monitor the particle's journey, something remarkable happens. The particles cease to behave like waves and instead manifest as discrete particles. The interference pattern vanishes, replaced by the expected pattern of distinct particle impacts. This brings us to a profound philosophical crossroads. The behavior of these particles appears to be intricately linked to the act of observation. It raises a question that reverberates through the realms of both physics and philosophy. Does reality exist independently of our observation? The suggestion here is that the very act of observation collapses the wave function, determining the outcome of the experiment. It's almost as if our universe is rendering details only when necessary, a concept that mirrors the way a computer simulation renders objects only when a player interacts with them. In computer simulations, objects are often not fully rendered until they come into the focus of a player's attention. Similarly, in the quantum realm, particles seem to exist in a superposition of states until observed, at which point they choose a specific state. This apparent dependence on observation draws intriguing parallels to the idea that our reality is, in essence, a carefully constructed simulation. As we ponder the mysteries of the double-slit experiment, it's crucial to remember that the implications stretch beyond the boundaries of conventional understanding. Scientists and philosophers alike grapple with the profound implications of our role as observers in the grand cosmic play. Now let's dive into the fascinating discovery made by theoretical physicist James Gates, a revelation that draws intriguing parallels between the structure of our universe and the intricate world of computer programming. Dr. James Gates, a distinguished physicist, stumbled upon a profound revelation while delving into the mathematics that underpin the fabric of our reality. As he scrutinized the equations describing the fundamental particles, he uncovered what can only be described as a cosmic code. An error, correcting code reminiscent of those employed in computer systems. Picture the fundamental building blocks of our universe, particles like quarks and leptons represented by mathematical equations. Within this complex web of equations, Dr. Gates discovered patterns that go beyond the expected mathematical elegance. He found an underlying code that functions similarly to error correction codes implemented in computer programming. Now, error correction is a critical aspect of computer systems, 
ensuring the accuracy and integrity of the information they process. It's designed to detect and rectify errors that may occur during data transmission or storage. Dr. Gates observed that the equations governing our reality contain similar error-correcting mechanisms. Consider this analogy. In a computer program, when data gets corrupted or distorted, error correction codes kick in to restore the integrity of the information. Similarly, Dr. Gates identified these analogous error correcting codes within the mathematical equations describing the behavior of particles in our universe. The implications of this discovery are profound. It prompts us to contemplate whether this error correcting code is an inherent feature of the universe or a deliberate design element. Could our reality be intricately structured like a computer program, where precision and accuracy are maintained through an underlying code? The striking resemblance between the error-correcting codes in computer systems and the mathematical foundation of our universe raises compelling questions about the nature of our existence. Are we living in a meticulously programmed simulation where these codes act as the safeguards preserving the coherence of our reality? As we marvel at the convergence of physics and computer science, it's important to acknowledge that the discovery of these cosmic error-correcting codes is still a topic of active exploration and discussion within the scientific community. While it tantalizingly hints at the possibility of our universe being akin to a grand computer program, there is much more to unravel in this cosmic code. Now let's venture into the awe-inspiring realm of cosmic fine-tuning, a concept that invites us to marvel at the intricacies of the universe's fundamental constants, the cosmic symphony that orchestrates the dance of particles and the emergence of life itself. Imagine the universe as a grand orchestra, each cosmic constant playing a unique role in composing the cosmic symphony. These constants, such as the gravitational constant, the speed of light, and the strength of electromagnetism, are the fundamental parameters that govern the behavior of matter and energy. Cosmic fine-tuning refers to the delicate balance and precision with which these fundamental constants are set. The staggering realization is that if even one of these constants were altered by a fraction, life as we know it would be rendered impossible. It's akin to adjusting the strings of a finely tuned instrument. The slightest deviation can disrupt the harmony. Consider the gravitational constant, for instance. If it was slightly stronger or weaker, stars might not form and galaxies would not coalesce. Alternatively, variations in the electromagnetic force might prevent the formation of stable atoms, essential building blocks for the chemistry of life. Now, simulation theory steps into this cosmic stage proposing that the fine-tuning of the universe may be a deliberate act of design. Picture a programmer meticulously adjusting the parameters of a simulation to create a virtual world conducive to the emergence of intelligent beings. In the context of a simulated reality, the idea is that the fine-tuned constants are not arbitrary, but intentionally set to cultivate an environment suitable for the evolution of complex life forms. This perspective invites us to ponder whether the precision we observe in the cosmos is a product of a cosmic architect's design. The delicate balance of these cosmic constants fuels ongoing debates within the scientific and philosophical communities. Some argue for the existence of a multiverse, suggesting that our universe is one of many with different constants, and we just happen to inhabit one where life can flourish. Simulation theory, however, introduces an alternative lens, proposing that our universe's fine-tuning is not a random outcome but a result of intentional programming. This notion encourages us to explore the profound question of whether our reality is a carefully crafted simulation, purposefully tuned to allow for the evolution of conscious beings. As we reflect on the cosmic ballet of constants and their role in the emergence of life, we find ourselves at the crossroads of science and philosophy. The inquiry into the nature of fine-tuning and its potential connection to a simulated reality invites us to contemplate the grandeur and purpose behind the cosmic design. Wrapping up our exploration of the scientific evidence supporting simulation theory, it's essential to note that while these concepts are intriguing, 
they are still speculative. The simulation hypothesis is far from proven, and scientists continue to explore alternative explanations for these phenomena. That's all for today. What are your thoughts on simulation theory? Do you believe we're living in a simulated reality? Or is there a more conventional explanation? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video if you found it thought-provoking. Until next time, keep questioning and exploring the wonders of Psylosophy.